What's up everyone, Jake from Switch Force here to welcome you to Spectre of Torment, Yacht Club's newest campaign in the Shovel Knight series where you play as Spectre Knight, who has two brand new moves to differentiate this from the previous Shovel Knight campaigns. These new moves dictate majority of the fast place gameplay. His first move is a Scythe Dash that allows him to get to higher hard reach places or can be used as an attack. His second ability is a wall run, allowing him to hang on and traverse higher along a wall for a short duration of time. The game is very similar to a Mega Man style game in which you're able to choose which level and boss you want to fight from the very beginning. Uh, each level is very pattern based with lots of platforming and the bosses have a very distinguished pattern that you must learn and are able to conquer the boss and you unlock new curio powers after each boss. The tower acts as an ever changing hub between each level or battle and is filled with lots of shops, dialogue and hidden secrets throughout. And as for the levels, each one is challenging in and of itself, but there's also additional harder hidden objectives as well as after completion challenges, which I will go into detail about in another video to keep this video spoiler free. You can make the game more difficult for yourself by limiting your use of curios, powers, and cloaks because it does tend to get easier as you power yourself up with more health and abilities. But the game does always keep you on your toes, whether it be with tricky maneuvering or always keeping your eyes open for hidden areas. The story in Spectre Torment is very well told within the limits of the duration and art style of the game. With beautiful non-linear storytelling aspects and gameplay, this allows the stunning sprites to dance through the plot brilliantly. The music is equally fantastic and fits each level wonderfully like a well-worn glove and the sound effects enhance the gameplay a lot. Now, I have played Spectre of Torment in every possible controller configuration and have loved them all. I have heard people preach that the Pro Controller is the best because it has a true D-pad, but I would disagree, and I probably enjoyed playing the best with Split Joy-Con or the Joy-Con Grip. I also routinely switched between using the stick and the four button d-pad on the joy-con mid-level depending on whether I wanted more fluidity in my movements or more precision. Despite the short length of the game, for only $10, the replayability is tremendous. With what you unlock post-completion of the main storyline, which again, I will discuss in another video to keep this review spoiler free, it's a pretty amazing deal. Or you can get the Shovel Knight Treasure Trove package to get the entire series in one bundle. Spectre of Torment is an awesome game, and its stunning visuals and quick, fast-paced gameplay lend themselves perfectly to the Nintendo Switch's pick-up-and-play style, where you can take it anywhere and have fun for five minutes or two hours at a time. There's never a dull moment between the witty dialogue, soothing music, and intense gameplay, making Spectre of Torment a perfect prequel and super fun game for anyone, regardless of whether or not you have played Shovel Knight in the past. Thank you so much for watching this review of Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. Be sure to stay tuned to Switch Force for all the wonders of the Switch. And with that, Switch Force out.